Hey guys, let's make shea body butter. Okay, like I said, we're going to be making homemade shea body butter. This is my version, so bear that in mind. Okay, so now I'm going to go about showing you some of the things I'm going to be using in my shea body butter. So I have my raw shea but butter. Um, you must have base oil. You can choose any base oil. I'm using sweet almond and rose hip base oil for mine. Um, and then you must have your well it's up to you but i'm using you have to use essential oils now you can use any essential oils but once you're using essential oils you must have base oils that's very important or your skin is going to dry out so here i have uh i show lavender and i have uh this one is rose essential oil um, I didn't use rose essential oil eventually at the end, but yeah, just showing you some things I might use in in this. And I also like to add this glycerin. Um, it's also very good for your skin. Um, so yeah. Here I'm showing you my jars that I store my butter in. So this is my second attempt at making chia body butter. So I'm making sure my jars are i'm just showing the jars actually all right so let's get into it so the first thing i normally do when making it is by the way this jar that i'm holding with the raw shea butter but um shea yeah butter is um 500 gram i'm going to be using half of that so i'm going to put some in this container that you see me have there and i'm going to melt it now there are different ways you can melt the shea butter you can use it do it on a stove i'm not going to be doing that method i'm just going to be placing it in this container and i'm going to use another container where i put hot water in and that's how i'm going to be melting it so there are different ways but this is the method that i like So here's the method I'm using. I use this container, throw some boiling hot water in it, and then I'm going to sit the container with the shea butter inside. And that's how I'm gonna get it to melt. So like I said, you can do this way or you can do it on a stove. Because I want it to melt a little faster, I went ahead and do and just throw the, the first uh, water I had in the container and I'm doing it again because I want it to go faster. see I have a ch some chunks of shea but butter in there and this is fine so I like it this way um, so now I'm wrapping it up because I'm gonna put it aside and prepare the other things I'm going to need to finish making the body butter Now 
Now I decided to add my glycerin, my other uh, oils, like base oils that I'm going to be adding to this. Uh, and you, you, you need to choose the base oil and essential oils that will suit you because, well, depending on what your skin needs. So that is why I chose the, the oils that you see me using. And now it's time for me to mix. So if you have not yet noticed, I'm not a professional at this. Um, like I said, it's my second time. Normally, so when I'm doing it, I realize that it's a bit watery. And what I did is I added some of the Shea Body Butter I had from my last batch to kind to th thicken it up a bit, um, make it thicker, um, and that helped. So yeah but this particular batch was a bit more watery than i would normally make it but eventually the end result was good so i'm not completely mad at it at all well i decided to add my essential oils at the end and i'm only using my lavender essential oil for this batch and I eventually did two bottles of these. Each bottle has 10 ml. Um, so yeah, I ended up using two bottles of this. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the first time I made this uh, body butter, I needed to do this method, method where I use a jar, place a bag inside, and I put the butter inside, and so it's easy for me to transfer it into the containers. Uh, however, this time when I made it, it was a bit more watery, so I really didn't need to do this step. Um, I'm not sure if, well, when I was, after pouring it into the container that I stored it in, Stir the butter in i wasn't sure if i like it this watery but um after seeing the result it it's okay so maybe i'll try and do it like this more but i know that when you're doing shea butter the thicker it is it's better for like winter time and it's when it's thinner it's better when it's you know in it's in the summer so that's something to also think about when making shea body butter
so as you can see i only did two containers i didn't do enough for it, all four containers and it's because i did it in the night i was a bit tired but this is the next day after it cooled down and you can see the texture i'm showing you my skin before and what it looks like when i Put it on actually I really love it my I have very dry skin so once I started using this shea body butter my skin has been really really good to me so I love it anyways remember to like share comment and subscribe and if you have any suggestion for me um, in making shea body butter please let me know down in the comments thank you Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye!